Dirty Jobs Mike Rowe. He is charming but. He a views on working annoy me. No one wants to work rants. Dude it's not the 80s. You are an overpaid entertainer. You get interviewed by overpaid entertainers. People will work for a house. A car. A vacation. And retirement. Jobs don't offer that anymore. It used to be you could get a factory job work 40 years and raise a family. Go try do that at a Starbucks. Blue Collar Tourist Roe is paid by the Koch brothers to tell us filthy pores to love work and hate labor laws. Had a moron say this to me the other day. But Starbucks, fast food jobs are for teenagers and unskilled workers. They're not real jobs. Tell that to the grad student saddled with 80 grand in student loans who can't afford to buy formula for their kid. Who has to deal with Karens yelling at them all day because they didn't get the right ratio of almond milk in their latte. Mike Rowe is an interesting character. To say the least on the one hand. He does a good job highlighting various jobs and trades that can be usually be attained without a college degree, but require a lot of hard, specific, and yes, dirty labor. I enjoy his show, not so much for his wisecracks and fumbling about his various tasks, but because he seems really interested in the people doing the actual work and letting them show what actual skilled labor looks like. If only he had just stopped there. Instead, he got himself an overinflated sense of self-worth and conflated the lack of people seeking these kinds of jobs with the GOP speak of nobody wants to work anymore. Well, duh. The people on his show spent years acquiring their various skills. Nobody walks in out of high school and starts laying out septic systems you have to latch on somewhere get training and experience in maybe there will be a job on the other end that will pay you commensurately for what you can do so some questions for mike what exactly are the jobs that nobody wants to work of the places that you worked at on your show how many of them are hiring right now are these employers taking on entry-level laborers or do they require prior experience are these jobs accessible to a critical mass of potential applicants? Or do they require long commutes and or relocation? Before you declare, nobody wants to work anymore, you should first find out if there are jobs out there that people can work or can learn how to work. I used to like him. It was cool to see all these jobs I had never thought, heard about. But the dude is literally cosplaying as a blue-collar worker for a few hours a week before going back to his cushy hotel or wherever. You can't take it seriously. He literally gets paid by big oil companies to spout their propaganda on social media and live TV. I don't think he's charming at all. I also don't think he's impressive. All he does is one day of the labor these people do day in and day out. Probably not even a full day. And he does it for fun and fame. He also probably makes more money per episode than a lot of those workers make in a month. Some even months probably. The working class is not for sightseeing. He had a lot of bootstraps to pull on. So he thinks everyone can. Specifically. He is a classically trained opera singer who performed professionally with the Baltimore Opera. His goals were to meet girls and get a union card. Not exactly someone who is struggling to make ends meet on minimum wage. HTTPS ConduitStreet.mdcounties.org slash 2017 slash 03 slash 16 slash fun dash fact dash did dash you dash no dash that dash dirty dash jobs dash host dash mike dash row dash sang dash professionally with the Baltimore Opera. Check out episode 64 of the podcast, Citations Needed. They bash Mike Rowe and his philosophy thoroughly for many of the reasons stated above. 
pisses me off when rich or famous people give their opinions about things they don't have to endure or experience. My dad was a college dropout and bought a house from working a job he was able to get. I have two degrees, teach full time and am unable to afford a house unless I marry someone richer than me or something else works out. The world is very different. The show can be interesting at times showing the hard or dirty kinds of work some people do. But I get tired of him constantly making sexual innuendo to try to be funny. It's not. I used to like him because he showed how hard people work in those jobs and that it's a lot more complex than you would think. Then I came to realize he doesn't use that platform correctly at all and doesn't understand how hard it is to do those jobs day in and day out. Mike is in the pocket of every union buster out there. He is on record saying unions aren't necessary in this day and age. He is an insult to the blue-collar trades. I recommend the Citations Needed podcast episode about Mike Rowe and his fake working man shtick. Mike Rowe is a wealthy narrator who works in TV, got his start at QVC, and has never actually worked a dirty job. The corporate must really love him. I take his show with a grain of salt like the undercover boss shows. Some high-level corporate hack does a real job for several weeks. Sees how one or two people are having trouble making ends meet and takes care of just them. Then you don't hear about any improvements for the rest of the employees. It's all for show. Mike Rowe is not your friend. He's a total twat and his big YouTube TED talk or whatever it was is horrible. The conclusion has no connections whatsoever to the intro or body. Nob Udi wants to work AMYNORE. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.